Hey everyone, how's it going? Matthew Bailey here, and welcome back to another movie review. I know I just posted one earlier in the day, but this one is the one you've been waiting for, and that is my review on Venom, Let There Be Carnage. Yep, I have just got back from seeing the movie as of this recording, and oh boy, this one, this one was actually pretty great interesting and I know people are a little upset because not only is it PG-13 but it was only like an hour and 37 minutes but you have to take 20, 10 minutes out of that for credits and so technically it was less than an hour and a half and I uh but I still think it it did its job I mean the first movie sure it was almost two hours long and it was able to establish quite a bit and that's why I think this one was so great because it actually managed to do what the first one didn't and actually tell a compelling story without having to build up suspense, build up the origin, all that sort of stuff. And th and there's a, even a post credit scene, well technically it's a mid credit scene, that blew my mind. I was not expecting this. And oh boy. I, if you think this was crazy, wait till you see what's in store for the future of Sony's Spider-Man universe. Because it's going to get crazy. But Tom Hardy as Eddie Brock, amazing as always. Woody Harrelson as Cleus Cassidy. He's a much, he looks so much better and acts much better in this movie than he did in that one little post mid credit scene in the first film and yeah I actually think that this movie definitely did his character justice especially because the directors actually changed and it was directed by um, Ulysses Claw himself from the MCU Andy Serkis and I am really excited to see what the future holds for this series. There's already a third film that's been confirmed to happen. I'm not sure exactly when they're going to start filming and release the film. But this movie definitely, even though it's only an hour and a half long, it still managed to tell a compelling story. Now, the only thing that, is, that I take away from this that wasn't as good was mainly the fact that there was one character in this movie that I really didn't understand why they needed them in this movie and like sure they were somewhat of a compelling part of the story but it really didn't make sense to have them there but like I said the post mid credit scenes what really saved the whole story plot of this film and I am really excited about it like I said, you definitely going to want to see this in the theaters because that's the only place you can see it. But I definitely recommend watching this movie. Definitely better than the first one, I can tell you that much. And like I said, the future of Sony Spider-Man universe is even is bigger and better than ever after the the mid credit scene, and you are going to get a kick out of this movie. But anyways, let me give you my rating of this film. So, for my rating of this film, like I said, if I had to give the first movie a, re a rating, because I don't think I ever reviewed it, I would probably give it like a three and a half, the first movie at least. This one, I definitely would give a four out of five. Yep, this one definitely did a little bit better than the first one, and this is definitely a film to go watch, even in this pandemic. I know it's kind of suckish that some movies aren't doing as great as they should. Um, but I actually might have a separate video discussing that, possibly, if I decide to do it. But anyways, that's all for now in this movie review, and I'll see all you dudes in the next video.